Have you ever tried to grow something? You know, of course, the biggest thing that we are growing, all of us, is our lives. And throughout our lives, we are constantly growing. It's something that happens very gradually and can start very, very small. Each of us start very, very small, don't we? Um, I love the fact that Jesus calls attention to uh, a seed called the mustard seed. And um, I'll show you a picture of it later in the uh, in the video. But um, it's tiny. And he made a point out of saying it's so tiny, but it grows into something so big. And he was saying when it comes to faith, you could have that little, but it's going to just grow into something massive. And that's uh, basically the way all of us are. We start small. And we live in a time where so many things happen so quickly for countless generations. Human beings were really satisfied. Well, they had no choice in it, actually, to spend so much of their effort uh, securing food, cooking food, hunting for food. Uh, that was survival, survival. And we live in a time where things happen very quickly. And what's interesting is that even though that's true, we're never satisfied. We always want something that's faster and faster and quicker and easier and more convenient. Everything, it just keeps going. It doesn't stop. But in reality, in real life, what's important takes a while to grow. I want to give you a couple of quick examples of this. Um, one, I got to go to a conference years ago of a group of people that mixed uh, artistry and spirituality. And I met there a priest from the country of Ghana in West Africa. And he invited me to come and I took him up on it. And when I was there, he brought me to really remote uh, parts of Africa. I mean, people swore I was the first white man they'd ever seen. And when I would go to these remote villages, it was so amazing the way people would um, come out and greet me and would share with me their talents. People would sing songs, do their dances, do their drumming, tell jokes, read poems. And in these little remote villages, all this talent was coming out. And it hit me that if somebody came to my town in the United States, they wouldn't even know what the talents were of the other people. And in my brain, I said, you know, someday I think I'd like to create a grassroots place where people could come and share their talents. And I did that. And I established a place called The Vault. And, uh, God, countless numbers of people over 25 years have performed there. And sometimes they get up on the stage and read a poem for the first time in their life. And some people have gone on to national careers. Um, but it all started so small with that little trip. When I was on that trip to Africa, I uh, met a chief in a remote village who wanted me to help him. He said, I know you don't have much money, but all I'd like, I don't want your money. I would just like to build a dam to store the little bit of rainfall that we get, and this way we could survive. And um, I came back on a mission to try and raise him that money to build that dam. Now, it never quite happened because of circumstances with him and with Africa and whatever, but that led to the, me founding um, my foundation, Hope for the Children, okay, which has gone on to help countless tens, hundreds of thousands of people over the years, but it all started small with one person asking for my help and me being motivated to try and do something to help him. Um, I met some of the people maybe that are watching this video. I met you on a retreat. I do 600 something programs a year, uh, but it all started with one. One person gave me a chance and that led to another, led to another, and that led to something else and to the point where like it's as big as it is now. So don't Get down on yourself if starting out is small, is slow, okay? Just be faithful with it, all right? The other thing I want to say about growing is the importance of balance. You know, I have a couple of trees on my property, but I have a neighbor. Uh, she doesn't like anything growing over onto her property from my trees. So every spring, the woman has somebody come in and trim the tree so that every branch... Every leaf that would be on her side is not there, okay? Makes the tree look kind of kind of stupid, but I don't care. It's a tree. You know what happened? We had a very bad hurricane blow through New York City, Hurricane Sandy, and those trees nearly came down, okay? I was really lucky that they didn't, and um, I had to end up taking them down because they were so close to coming down, but they were coming down because they were unbalanced. All the weight was on one side. In life, balance is really important. 
Jesus had in his life two sisters that he used to be close friends with. And one was Martha, one was Mary. And one <clears throat> was always working, cleaning the house, cooking, cleaning, you know, laundry, everything. And the other one would just spend time with Jesus. And Martha was complaining. Um, she's like, you know, hey, you know, I'm doing all this work here. And uh, what's with her? Thinking Jesus is probably going to say to her, yeah, yeah, go help your sister. And Jesus turns around and says, nah, she's the one that's smart enough to know you don't have that work to do. If I'm here, you hang out with me. Um, and she's the one that's got the better position. She's the one that's doing the right thing. And that's very, very challenging for people that feel like all their life is work, work, work. Okay? A lot of people think because they do so many programs with prison ministry, with retreat ministry, with youth, with acting, with all the stuff that I do, they think like, uh, I don't take any time for me. But it's not true. I get plenty of sleep. I go to the gym. I work out, do something physical every day. I listen to music. I pray in my car, drive 35,000 miles a year listening to music and praying. Um, I take time for myself. I watch movies. I listen, you know, I talk with friends, hang out with family. Uh, I do, I balance myself. I take free time to just go in my backyard, okay, where I have like a little peaceful, quiet place and just learn how to take a 10 minute vacation. Uh, balance is really important. So do that too. Okay. God bless.